you picked up a Mac laptop in the last couple of years, chances are it comes with a USB-C port and that means a USB-C power adapter. The nice things about the iPhone 10 and newer is that they all support fast charging if you're using a MacBook power adapter. All you need is USB-C to a lightning cable. And until the iPhone 11 Pro came out, Apple didn't give you a USB-C to lightning cable with your phone. You had a USB-A to lightning cable. And if you wanted one of those, you had to buy it from Apple. Luckily, they lowered the price to now $20. But even if you don't want to do that, you can make your own USB-C to lightning cable on the cheap. In this video, I'm gonna show you a couple of methods on making a USB-C lightning cable, show you my steps, my failed attempts, and how I ultimately made a USB-C to lightning cable. So the first thing we will need in order to do this is get a lightning cable. This is going to be USB-A to lightning cable. Chances are you already have one of these, so we're not gonna factor that into the price of making one. Next, what we'll need to do is decide if we want to go with bare connectors or if we want to use an old USB-C cable. I decided to go the route of using bare connectors, which I happen to have right here. Now, for about $6 on Amazon, what you get right here are USB-3 connectors. If we cut into a lightning cable, you will see that it's actually four wires inside, and those four wires are correspondent to a USB 2.0 specifications. These are USB 3, so you're only going to need to solder on certain paths. This comes with everything you need, and the USB documentation is actually really helpful in showing you which paths you will need to solder onto. It has a little bit of a pinout mapping to go from a USB 2 to a USB 3 Type C connector. It shows you which ones you need to do, and it's actually really straightforward and simple. For me, I am not the most experienced in soldering, so I had a little bit of issues at first, but this is what I did. So what I got right here is a lightning cable, very basic lightning cable, and on this end is my attempt at, um, you know, soldering on a USB-C connector. So inside of a lightning cable, you have your four wires, your VCC, your ground, your data plus, and your data minus and those are actually braided stranded wires inside. So you have a couple of options when you're soldering onto your USB-C connector. Chances are you're going to want to tin those wires, which is the easiest way to do it, so that they are solid and not actually going to be all over the place, can maybe shorting something. I had some issues with that because the wires are just so tiny and so thin. So what I did is I actually got solid core wire. And what I did was I just soldered it onto the four pads that we needed to solder onto. So it was much easier using solid core wire, which I already tinned for me. And I was able to get that on there. It was actually pretty difficult because the pads are so close together and you don't want them to cross over to any other pads nearby. So once you do get that on, it should work. For some reason, it was having issues not working with a power brick. It worked on USB, like a USB hub or something like that, but it did not work using a USB power adapter for some reason. It also looked a little messy, so I figured, let's just take a plain basic USB-C cable, chop that off, and put that together as one cable. So that is what we're gonna do here. So to get started, we will need to strip our two cables. There are gonna be four wires inside, red, green, white, and black. You're gonna strip off those inner wires as well. All we need to do is just take one set of those wires and tin them. That is basically applying some flux. If you want to, you don't have to, it's easier if you do. Then we will just tin the wires by putting solder on the wire and making it almost solid. Then all we do is take the other end, the other cable that's not been tinned, wrap it around there. You can do a little bit of solder and then just melt the two cables together and that is it. And here it is, the cable is complete. It is all done. We have USB-C on one end and lightning on the other. It's not the prettiest thing. I didn't have any heat shrink tubing that was the right size, it was this color. So we have black, it's not bad, but let's see how it works. So we have USB-C, plug it in on that end. We have lightning here, we got an iPhone here. Here's the moment of truth. Let's plug it in. And there you go. It starts charging right away. And 
no issues, worked perfectly fine. It was only maybe 15, 20 minutes worth of work. It required a lightning cable, a USB-C cable, a soldering station, and that was pretty much it. I have to say, I am pretty impressed with the result. For half the price of Apple's cable, if you buy a USB-C cable and take your existing lightning cable, it's not too bad. It's a pretty fun project and it worked out very well. So if you like this video and you want to do something like this, feel free to leave a like and let me know what you do in the comments below. Hit that subscribe button for more videos like this and I will see you in the next one.